Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're testing out the Ozark Trail small reversible cast iron griddle. Alright everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to take a look at this cast iron reversible griddle from uh, Ozark Trail. It is a grill and griddle and it is reversible. You see you have your grill on this end and your flat side on this end for other things you're going to be cooking. We're going to be using the flat side today. Um, really I just want to season it because I want to use this for breakfast eventually. But we're not doing breakfast today because I always cook breakfast and it's kind of boring. So we're going to do something different. Now this griddle is great for meats, fajitas, bacon, tortillas, vegetables, flatbreads, pretty much anything. If you don't want to cook on the rib side like I showed you, you can flip it over. The griddle is 16.5 inches by 9 inches. So it's definitely big enough for all of your propane stoves and Coleman stoves. And this kind of extends the usability of those stoves. If you want to grill something, if you want to grill hamburgers or something, you don't have to make them in a pan. You just put this on top of those stoves and it'll work perfectly like that. So that's kind of the idea of what we're going to do today. Now, what I'm going to use today is an old Coleman 413F grill, uh, I'm sorry, stove, that I was given uh, ages ago. And uh, it was one of those free cycle things. We have a free cycle group in town. And it basically works like if there's something you don't want anymore, you give it away. Well, that's what happened here. The woman didn't want it anymore. And she gave it to me. And the only problem with it was the gas area, that red gas, you know, pump, didn't work. It was, it was so messed up. It was broken. It was, so what I did was I converted it to propane for uh, use, just, you know, for everyday use. So it was a free stove. What the heck? I might, might as well convert it to propane. Eventually, I'm thinking about buying the, uh, the correct uh, tank for it, but eh, I don't know. You know, it was, it was a freebie, so I don't want to spend money on it. Anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. Now, you, you can use this on induction stoves, ceramic, gas, electric cooktops, uh, in your oven, on any grill like we're going to do today, even over a campfire. Of course, don't use it in a microwave. And, of course, on glass or ceramic cooktops, don't slide this because it will scratch your, your cooktop. And when cooking on it, you want to use metal, wood, or high-temperature silicone utensils. This gets really, really hot, and it will melt to it. Now, some foods will stick to the new cookware, especially eggs. So you want to use a little extra oil or butter when you built up the seasoning on, until you built up the seasoning on your cast iron cookware. Acidic foods like tomatoes, beans, certain sauces, uh, and certain uh, can damage the seasoning finish. So you want to avoid that until seasoning is really well established. Now, this does come pre-seasoned but we are going to uh, season it a little bit before we use it today. And basically what I'm cooking today isn't going to be anything that uh, really heats it up to the point of uh, the damages it or anything. So it's a good first, first use for it. Now, it does need to uh, be on a medium heat. It really doesn't need to be uh, over a medium heat ever. Um, basically, it needs to be heated up slowly. You don't want to like put this on a blazing flame, and you don't want flame coming out the sides. You know, Just leave it on a medium heat. Let it build up heat on its own. And it will work very well on that. Now to clean it, really simple. You let it cool down. You wipe it with a clean dry cloth or paper towel. If you're going to use soap, I don't recommend it. But if you are, just use mild soapy water and dry it really, really thoroughly. And then oil it and season it immediately again. You definitely never want to put this in a dishwasher or use any kind of strong detergents or metal scouring pads. That will remove the seasoning. Now without protective seasoning, this will rust when exposed to air. So to remove any rust buildup, you're going to just scour the rust uh, with some uh, vegetable oil and a rag. Real simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up, and I'll show you the stove in a second here because it's kind of big. I can't drag it into the picture. And we're going to set it up, and we're going to uh, heat it up. I'm going to season it a little bit, and then we're going to make some lunch. Okay, so for today's lesson, I've realized I need a longer and higher tripod. <laughs> it's kind of low, and it's kind of a small area. Uh, let me let you look inside here and see how this is set up with the propane. I have both burners going. Um, what I'm going to do is keep this at a pretty low heat, like it is. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And turn this up a little bit to even it out. And this one will always be lower on any kind of stove similar to this. This one always gets a little less gas because that burns first. So if your flame on one side is a little lower, don't freak out. Perfectly normal. We're going to put this down. And we're going to put the grill on top here. Okay. Now you'll notice this is a very big stove, and that's kind of small for it, but it'll serve our purposes good for what we're using it for. I'm going to be using some uh, coconut oil to uh, season the top of it. So we will wait till it heats up a little bit, 
and then we will season it with some coconut oil. I'm going to put a little on top beforehand, though, so I can get a good little, uh, a little bit of smoke coming off it when it gets nice and hot. Let's just wipe it on there. And it says it's pre-seasoned, but when it comes to cast iron, I'd rather do it myself, you know, get it started. I'm even putting it down in the little drain down here, the drain hole, where the stuff uh, drains down. Okay, there we go. And this one isn't the best because it's kind of ripping off some of the uh, some of the paper towel. So you maybe want to get a rag. That'll burn off before I cook anything, so I'm not worried about it. Already I'm starting to feel it's really hot there. So I'm going to turn it up a little tiny bit. We're going to let it season for a little bit. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to cook. I don't know if you can see it. There's starting to be a little bit of steam coming off, smoke coming off there. It's very, very warm here. It's nice and hot there. So we're going to be cooking our sausages on this side. Again, this side's going to be a little lower. No big deal. Nothing broken on it. That's just how these stoves operate. So, um, this seems to be working well, too. I've tested this in a video I did, God, five years ago when I first got this unit. This unit is very hard to find now. Um, I bought it on Amazon for 11 bucks. Now I've seen them for sale like for like 60 bucks because they're hard to get. I doubt they're even on Amazon anymore. So what we're going to make today. First off, we're going to start off with some uh, stuff, smoked sausage, bacon and cheddar, Johnsonville sausages. I'm going to line them up over here and on this side. I've got some quick cook risotto, and because this side is a little bit lower, we're going to put it up this in there. Let me give it to you that way. In a pan, and I got a little bit of onions that we're going to be putting on the grill. So I'm just going to heat this up. I'm literally going to stick this over here and let it get warm. This side isn't going to be as hot as that side, so it's going to be perfect. So I'm going to put some water in this, and a little tiny bit of water so it doesn't burn to the bottom. And I got my onions here too. So, seem to be doing good over there. Make sure it's nice and turn it down a little tiny bit. That's good. Yeah, that's perfect. So, let's we'll stick the onions on. Back here in the corner. Okay. I'm going to kind of cook them. Cook them up a bit, move them around a little bit, and then I'm going to move them off to the side, and then we'll put the sausages on. So give me a minute to do that, and I'll be right back. All right, now the risotto. I opened it up. I'm just going to break it up. These are really made for the microwave, but you can do these very easily. And it's already sizzling in there. I'll break it up a little bit. No real big deal. There we go. Okay. Now I am going to put a little bit of butter. I'm going to let these cook for a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of butter over here for the uh, onions. They didn't stick at all. They're doing pretty good. And the uh, sausages. So let me go get that, and I'll bring you back. All right, so I bumped up the heat a little bit. I want to get that starting to get warm. As you can tell here, that's the risotto. And the onions are doing really well. I moved them over to the cooler side, but they're still cooking well. And they'll take a little bit longer, because I don't necessarily want to rush that. Because i got to cook the uh, sausages. So, let me stir this around a bit. That's heating up nicely. So you can see, if you have another stove, yeah, you could probably put this on a separate stove. But I'm just going to do it on this, on the flat part of the grill here. Because that will warm it up just as much as I want. And I know the sausages will cook fairly quick, because they're already pretty much pre-cooked. So, there we go. So let me put the butter on there. Get it ready for the sausages. And open the sausages up. I think I'm going to cut them up because my hands are all slimy. I'm cut them open. My hands are all full of butter. Alright. Now I'm going to take the heat down a little bit on that side because it's kind of high. There we go. And that's perfect. Okay. Put these on. That around a little bit. There we go. All right. Let me give those a few minutes, and then I'll move them around a little bit, and I will bring you back once they're kind of ready to go, and we'll uh, finish up. So before we finish up, and I show you what it looks like fully cooked, I wanted to show you it a little more in the process. And see, we're getting some 
caramelized onions there. The rice over here is starting to steam. And that's perfect timing on that because that will take the longest because it's not super hot on this side. And as you can tell, sausages are looking awesome. So, we're going to finish it up. And it should be another, oh, I don't know, five, six minutes before everything's pretty much, to my taste, done. And we'll try it out. All right, so everything looks like it's pretty much finished. I'm going to close off this side here because I know my risotto is finished. And we're going to turn this off here. I just kind of let them sit there for a little bit. They look good. Definitely going to get myself a pair of uh, wooden tongs. Makes it a little easier than using a fork. And this is a UCO titanium spoon, if you guys have seen it. Um, Walmart has them back in stock now. Not bad, nine bucks for a titanium spoon. So I'm going to plate some of this up, and I'll bring you back and we'll try it out. All right, so here you go. The hot dogs with some onions and that risotto rice. Looks really good. Let me get a bite here. I haven't tried these hot dogs before. Very good. There's a risotto. Mm. See, now that is easily a good meal. So, that's the Ozark Trail small cast iron griddle. I do have all the flame off to it right now. Um, it is still hot, of course. So, you're going to wait till it's all done, okay, when this is all finished up. And then, you're going to just wipe it off with some oil and a towel. Vegetable oil works good if you're going to uh, coat it. I find the best coating for this is um, olive oil. So get yourself some olive oil and wipe it down. Anything that's kind of messy like over here, you can just wipe that right off and just leave that on there because that's the seasoning you want. Definitely the seasoning you want on that. So Anyway folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I would put a link to where this is, but it's at Walmart. It's $9.92. So <laughs> just go to your local Walmart and pick one up. They are the small cast iron griddle. They are reversible. We just decided to use the flat side first because probably that's what I'm going to be using most on this as a uh, grill for making breakfast or cooking bacon on or whatever. That's probably what I'm going to be using this most for. And this old stove makes an awesome little uh, host for it. So definitely pleased with it. For nine bucks, hey, you can't go wrong. Well, really, ten, nine ninety-two. So don't forget, when you're done, wipe the thing off. Um, put some oil on it and just let it be. Let it cool off first because that's going to stay hot for a very long time. And whatever you do, don't try to pick it up by those handles until it's cool because it's going to stay hot for a while. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out our Amazon link down below if you're interested in anything that we do on the channel. I try to put most of my stuff in there. If you don't see it, um, it's generally because it's cheaper somewhere else and I'll let you know in the video. And if there's nothing in there you like, just click the link and shop as you normally would. Don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link as well. And most importantly, because they have the food right in stock right now, our Food for Patriots link. If you're looking to get some food stocked up uh, quickly, we have a two-week and a four-week deal right now. You're getting 100 bucks off that four-week deal. So the site for that is preparewithiridium.com. Preparewithiridium.com. That's simple. It'll be down below. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.